Welcome to Current Affairs for Beginners. Before starting our session, first let us see answers for the questions from our Saturday's video. The first question is, which one of the following is an artificial lake? The answer here is A. It is the Kodai Canal Lake, which has been built 154 years ago, is an artificially built lake. Whereas this Koleru Lake that is situated in Andhra Pradesh is the largest fresh water lake of India and it is located between the deltas of Krishna and Godavari rivers in the Krishna and Godavari districts. The next one is Nainital. Nainital is situated in the foothills of Himalayas with the pear shaped Naini lake at its center. And the next one is Renuka lake. It is situated in the Siyarmur district of Himachal Pradesh and this lake is named after the goddess Renuka. Whereas this Kodai Kena lake which is also known as Kodai Lake is a man-made lake located in the Kodai Canal city in the Dindigal district of Tamil Nadu. And this lake is the most popular geographic landmark and tourist attraction. Next question is, in which of the following areas can GPS technology be used? This is the global positioning system. The first one is mobile phone operations. Let us see each and every statement with an example. The government's is framework for public sector banks it has provided to develop mobile apps to locate nearest atms that location of nearest atms can be possible only through gps that is the global positioning system and also in 2016 the punjab national bank has launched an android mobile app which will enable the customer to locate nearest PNB ATM using GPS. So we can say that the statement 2 is also correct. The statement 1 and 2 are correct. And now if we see the options as 1 and 2 are correct from the options we can eliminate all these 3 and without wasting time we can go directly for D. The answer here is D. So this GPS technology can be used even for controlling the power grids. Now let's start our today's session. The first article is doctors, chartered accountants, ex-legislators among the white card holders. This article comes under GS paper 2 under the topic of governance. Now what are these ration cards? These ration cards are an official documents issued by the state governments in the country to the households who are eligible for purchasing subsidized food grains from the public distribution system under the National Food Security Act of 2013. These ration cards were of different types. For people who were below poverty line or who belong to this Antyodaya Anna Yojana, below who are among the poorest of the poor, for them this white ration card will be provided to get or to purchase subsidized food grains from the PDS system. Whereas for the people who are above poverty line, they will be provided with this pink ration cards. And this ration card is issued per family and it is voluntary and it's not a compulsory thing for the citizens to acquire. Therefore, all the citizens who want to get subsidized food, they can get this. And the other thing that we are going to see from this article is this Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samma Nidhi Yojana, which we have been seeing since so many days. Now, let us just brief it. This program, under this program, all the vulnerable land holding farmer families who are having the cultivable land up to 2 hectares will be provided direct income support at the rate of 6000 rupees per year and this 6000 rupees will be transferred directly into the bank accounts of the beneficiary farmers in three equal installments that is 2000 each the importance of this scheme is around 12 crore small and marginal farmer families are expected to be benefited from this and it will not only provide assured supplemental income to the most vulnerable farmer families but it will also meet their emergent needs especially before the harvest season. The next article is policies biased against rain-fed agriculture. 
This article comes under GS paper 3 under the topic of agriculture. From this article, now here there is a mention of hybrid seeds. So what are these hybrid seeds? Before knowing about these hybrid seeds, let us know something about what are the stages that were involved in seed production cycle. We have many schemes like Rastriya Krishi Vikas Yojana, Macro Management Agriculture, Integrated Scheme for Oil Seeds, Pulses, Oil Palm and Maize, Technology Missions for Cotton, National Food Security Mission etc. that will provide subsidized seeds to the farmers. Some of them also provide incentives for investment in seed manufacturing infrastructure and upgradation. There are three stages in seed production cycle. The first stage is breeder seeds. These breeder seeds are developed by Indian Council of Agriculture Research. And the next, from this we will get the foundation seeds. These are the second stage seeds developed by this National Seeds Corporation and State Farms Corporations. And then final stage, we will get the certified seeds. These seeds are produced and distributed to all the farmers. And this certification of seeds will be done by the state agricultural universities or some private organizations that were authorized by this Indian Council of Agriculture Research. So now, what are these hybrid seeds? These hybrid seeds are obtained by cross-pollination of different varieties of related plants. These seeds have played an important role in green revolution. They are very instrumental in green revolution. These seeds, they combine desirable properties of two related plants using a method of controlled crossing devised by Charles Darwin and Gregor Mendel Plant breeders can produce a seed that combines the desired traits of two pure parent lines in the first generation itself. So the hybrid seed is the first generation that is resulting from crossing of two varieties or parents. And the next thing that we are going to see from this article is here there is a mention of soil health cards. So now let us see what is this so soil health card. The soil health card is a printed report card issued to the farmer once in three years indicating the status of the farmer's soil in terms of 12 parameters. Along with the health status of the soil, it will also have an advice on various fertilizers and other soil amendments the farmer is supposed to make. Now if you see what are the features of the soil health cards, it is a field specific detailed report of soil fertility status and other important soil parameters that will affect the crop productivity. What are the details that we can find in the soil health card are information regarding soil fertility and dosage of fertilizer application in the crop, information on soil amendments of saline or alkaline soil and it will have recommendation on integrated nutrient management. The 12 parameters which include major nutrients pH, total dissolved salts, minor nutrients will be tested and the test results will be shown with color codes for ease of understanding to the farmer. So what are the benefits of this soil health card means? The existing nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium consumption ratio in the country is reduced to 8.2 is to 3.2 is to 1 against the preferred ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 1. This is the preferred ratio but this is the one now. So imbalanced application of fertilizers will cause the deficiency of these primary nutrients that is the nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium and it has also reduced the secondary nutrients like sulfur and micronutrients like 
boron zinc copper in most parts of the country so this soil health cards will ensure that farmers will not spend money unnecessarily on purchasing of these fertilizers by adding more than the required amount of fertilizers in their crops once there is economy on the use of chemical fertilizers the cost of production will also reduce and one more thing here is this integrated nutrient system the promotion of this integrated nutrient system will reduce the consumption of chemical fertilizers by 20% by easing the fiscal strain on the government as india imports large quantities of various fertilizers to meet the demand this soil test based fertilizer usage will reduce the import bill and will also ensure higher yields per unit and over a period of time the soil health card can determine the changes in the soil health which were affected by the land management the next article is the challenge in the pulwama attack this article comes under gs paper 3 under the topic of internal security from this article here there is a mention of financial action task force what is this financial action task force it is an intergovernmental policy making body that aims to establish international standards for combating money laundering and terrorist financing this was established in 1989 during the g7 summit in paris to combat the growing problem of money laundering which is nothing but converting the black money into a legal money this task force comprises of 39 member countries including india initially this task force was dealing with the developing policies to combat money laundering but from 2001 onwards its purpose has got expanded to act against this terrorism financing also this financial action task force will set some standards and it will promote effective implementation of legal regulatory and operational measures for combating this money laundering terrorist financing and other threats that were related to the integrity of international financial system as i said the functions of this task force is to set international standards and it will monitor these standards and it will conduct studies of money laundering and terrorist financing methods trends and techniques and it will respond to the new and emerging threats like proliferation financing which is used for promoting proliferation of nuclear chemical and biological weapons now let's see today's prelims questions the first one is regarding the soil health card scheme and the next question is on financial action task force is related to which among the following try to answer these questions and post your answers in the comment box tomorrow we'll see a detailed explanation for these questions and this is our law excellence website where you can access the notes for this video thank you